In this video, we will solve a problem on how to find the multiplier from the given marginal propensity to consume and marginal tax rate. The question is for an economy, the MPC is 3 upon 4, that is marginal propensity to consume is 3 upon 4 and marginal tax rate is 1 upon 9. The multiplier for this economy is the options are 3, 3 upon 36, 1 upon 3 or 12, okay? So uh, what we are being given, we have the marginal propensity to consume is equal to 3 upon 4 okay marginal tax rate what we call simply the tax rate is being given as 1 upon 9 okay now to find the multiplier we can uh, you know derive it uh, and I will write the formula first okay then I will try to derive multiplier is being given by uh, multiplier is equal to 1 upon 1 minus MPC plus MPC into MTR marginal tax rate. This is the formula. Okay, I will explain it if I have the time. So we have so in place of MPC we can write it also by C if I denote it by C. So this is 1 minus uh, C. Uh, plus uh, C and MTR is being denoted by T just give the value to the variable so we have 1 minus MPC is 3 upon 4 uh, plus again the value of C is 3 upon 4 uh, into 1 upon 9 this gives us so 1 minus, so this is so on a uh, arc, so this comes out to be, this is 1 upon 4, 3 ones are, 3 threes are 9, so here we have 4 threes are 12, then we get 1 upon uh, 12, solve it again, you will get, let's make the denominator same, so theta gets over, this comes out to be 4 upon 12, which comes out to be 12 upon 4 which gives us the multiplier is 3 okay so the value of multiplier for this economy would be 3 by this what we mean when multiplier comes out to be 3 it simply says us what happens to the income when there is any change into the variables that means what happens to the total income if autonomous in investment increases let us say by one unit it says multiplier says that our income will increase by three units okay when uh, you know autonomous in uh, investment increases by one unit our income will change by three units this is the concept of multiplier we can also derive it okay so the question stops here just use this very formula but the intuition behind this formula is simple let's write our gdp equation that is our y is equal to c plus i plus g okay you know it very well and y is equal to this is consumption function it can be written as a plus b y subscript d that is the disposable income this is a consumption function let us say investment is autonomous government spending is also autonomous y is equal to a plus b is our marginal propensity to consume disposable income is simply y minus ty if we have the marginal tax rate okay so the thing is our disposable income will be equal to the total income minus the marginal tax rate times the income okay if t denotes the marginal tax rate plus i naught plus g naught I'm just trying to say, uh, show you how do we get this kind of formula. So solving it further, so y is equal to a plus by minus b dy, multiplying this b to each of these terms in the parenthesis, plus psi naught plus g naught. So transposing these y's to LHS, this will become minus by, this will get plus b dy. Um, plus sorry is equal to a 
plus i naught plus g naught taking y common we are left with 1 minus b plus bt is equal to a plus i naught plus g naught that gives us y is equal to a naught sorry a plus i naught plus g naught okay if i transpose this term it will get multiplied sorry it will get divided so we have 1 minus b plus bt okay so this b is actually the c here okay model propensity to consume and this tells us this very part is our multiplier this is our multiplier okay it simply tells us what happens to our income if there is any change in a which is autonomous consumption autonomous investment or autonomous government expenditure okay the value of multiplier gives us the magnitude to which our you know income will increase let us say as i have given you let us say the government spending uh, you know increases by let us say 1 billion dollars okay let's write it 1 billion dollar 1 billion dollar then our income or change in income income will increase by income will increase by so this has increased that means our income will increase by the value of multiplier which is 3 let us say this comes out to be 3 3 times change in the government spending that is by 1 billion that means our income will change by 3 billion this is the concept of the multiplier i hope i make myself clear thank you